do I do I appear sad today? It's really sad to see what so much of the Democratic Party has become. If the Republican Party were behaving the way the Democrats are behaving today, there would be such outrage in this country from the mainstream and global media. The fact that Vice President Pence had to go today to cast the deciding vote for Betsy DeVos to become Secretary of Education, it's just a sad day. The Democrats are just absolutely whiners and just sour great losers. Raul Emanuel of Chicago, the mayor, said it best. They are not very good losers. They don't know how to win when they lose. I don't know if you realize this. There's a possibility that our good friend, Dr. Ben Carson, will not be confirmed by the full Senate for another two weeks. Not just Dr. Carson. This is unprecedented in history that President Trump's cabinet secretary are being held hostage and prisoners to the opposition party, the Democrats. I've never seen anything like it. They're behaving the worst I have ever seen. It is so sad. President Trump won, and what they're trying to do is cripple him and the majority of these agencies so he can fail and not enact and roll out the program that he promised for we the people. And the mainstream media gives cover to this sad, pathetic, and un-American behavior. This is not who we are as Americans. Do they represent you? How can any of us in good conscience embrace or tolerate the behavior of Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, Maxine Waters, and others. It, 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 it's, it's outrageous. For me, as an American, as a citizen, I've never been so embarrassed and ashamed what these petty, polarizing, anti-American Democrats have become in our nation. And I hope we, the people, send them a message that this un-American, we cannot tolerate this pettiness and this strategy that they put in place as the opposition party to destroy America, to destroy this president's potential of delivering for us. It's unacceptable and we should pray for the president and pray for these un-Americans. It's un-American what they become. I can't even watch television anymore. It saddens me as a broadcaster, as a citizen that loved this country. Had Hillary Clinton won, we would have accepted it. You would not see these protests, these games, these obstructionists. You would not see it. Yes, I am disappointed and saddened by these Democrats that are behaving worse than children in elementary school. Grow up, Democrats, and accept the fact that Donald, Pres Donald Trump is your president and give him every chance to succeed. For we, the people, stop these annex. Stop being un-American. Stop it. I'm Armstrong Williams.